Okay, so this is our uh, 3D printed robot. Uh, it's all finished and focus. There we go. It's all finished and working now. Uh, sorry about the bad lighting and bad video quality. I'm just using my phone. Uh, so what we're going to do is we've got a little work cell here and um, we're just going to move some stuff around. So how this robot works is it's got a bunch of uh, stepper motors. They're all over the place. Uh, there's some really gigantic ones down here. They're unnecessarily large. Uh, and then we've got some slush engines. Uh, these are sitting at the front. Um, we can use the lights as well, but I just had a bunch of these sitting around. Um, and then there's another one in the back, uh, and they're uh, they're coupled together up here. Um, so we're actually driving uh, seven steppers and a servo motor right now, uh, just using a Raspberry Pi. There's no Arduino controller or AppMega thingy on here anywhere. Uh, it's just the Raspberry Pi. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, it's controlled. Uh, we've got this gripper plugged into the sorry this uh, Xbox 360 controller plugged into the um, uh, into the Raspberry Pi's USB port. Uh, essentially, what we use this for is calibration and teaching. Um, so when you're teaching the points, um, you can't move the robot around by hand, but you can move it with the controller, and this makes it pretty easy. Uh, so what you can see is uh, rotating it that way. And I just have it slowed down um, so that uh, it makes it so that you can teach accurately. Um, and then other things like, uh, for example, pushing on the D-pad will, uh, you know, rotate these axes and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and then the buttons are used uh, for teaching points. So when you press a button, it teaches a point and records it uh, to a file. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll just uh, run it. So this X is run program. Um, and it's already been calibrated, so I don't have to recalibrate it uh, unless uh, the power is taken away. Um, so right now what you'll notice is uh, the speed's pretty low. One of the things I haven't worked out yet, um, just haven't had the time, is um, uh, making sure that the robot operates at appropriate speeds so that all the joints are acting uh, together at the same time. Um, and uh, that's not really implemented right now. Right now it's just kind of averaging. Uh, so you can see it's going to put the part down. Um, this is just a servo gripper. Uh, oh, I didn't clean that wire up. Uh, this is, a, yeah, so it's just uh, using a servo to actuate these. Um, using servos from the Raspberry Pi is not ideal um, because uh, you don't really get much accuracy out of it. But in this case, it works really, really well for a gripper. Uh, and the gripper is also just controlled by the joystick. Oh, I'm, the joystick's just sitting here. I'm not doing anything. Uh, so now it's just going to go and put those parts back. Um, so this is going to eventually be an X's and O's game, or tic-tac-toe. Um, what you can see is that I made the parts sit on an angle or on a uh, angular bracket like this, uh, just to show off that it is a six-axis robot. So five-axis uh, wouldn't be able to grab those parts uh, and then put them down um, uh, in a perpendicular orientation on the table. Uh, it just doesn't have enough axes to do that uh, based on the orientation. Uh, and then it's just going to return to home. Um, so how this works is it's all running on Python. Um, which is cool because uh, you can kind of do whatever you want with it. Again, it's just going to home. Um, so what you can see is it's, uh, you can see it printing out all the go-to commands. So it's, no, you can't see it. Focus, there we go. Um, you can see like the name of the point that it's going to. It's kind of like G-code. These points have been pre-named um, and those are in a file. And then if we come over here, um, we can see what the file looks like. So gripper open go to, go to, blah, blah, blah. And then the points file, which is over here. Um, oh, there should be more than this, but um, it just has all the points defined in here. So what happens is uh, you hit a button on the controller and it saves the point here, and then you can uh, you can title it as well. Uh, so you just have these two files. You can edit them without changing the Python program, which is pretty sweet because you never need to power down the robot. Um, so yeah, anyway, it's, uh, it's coming along. It's a pretty well working robot.